everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'm going to continue on the topic of Tom Platz's diets. And in particular, we're going to look at his pre-contest diet. I love these shots. And before I get into this video, I'd like to just simply add that uh, this video is sponsored by GoldenEraMuscle.com. Please visit their website for training information and supplements. Now, <laughs> if we look at the photo in the middle here of Tom Platz, you can see he's starting to get his tan on. Um, one of the things that I wish to talk about in the future, about the other important, important uh, practices that one should do, or at least that they did in the golden era, to uh, tune in for contest time. And you can see that he still hasn't got, he's, got, he's starting to develop some definition, but he hasn't actually gotten into that famous, famous ripped stage with that paper thin skin that he was so famous for. And obviously his practices for pre-contest routine uh, were, were very very uh, were very very successful if, if we look at the picture on the far left of course he's absolutely ripped this is beyond definition and I mean I just simply cannot get over that famous photo of his quads I mean damn I mean everything from from the from the calves to the quads I mean those quads are not just defined they are bursting out in front of you 3d all the way every day and those adductors all the way up to the hip even they're even veiny for Christ's sake you got feathers and you got everything that you need striations at the, the depths I mean you put your fingers in there and they'll get lost it's incredible the, the amount of the amount of um yeah I mean that the amount of fat that he lost in those on those legs and and the the state of definition the paper thin skin is is just mind-blowing so let's have a look at Tom Platz's recommendations and his actual pre-contest diet for the 1980 Mr. Olympia. That's what's on today. So let's look at Tom Platz's recommendations. According to the books and articles that I've read, Tom Platz was not a big user of diuretics. Instead, his philosophy was if you've overeaten during the off season, instead you should just focus on cutting calories and training with a really high intensity. His recommendations for the overall pre-contest diet are to not fry foods, to use low-fat meats, to not consume uh, dairy. But if you must, it should be non-fat dairy, to steam your vegetables, again, not frying, not adding any extra calories through the process of cooking. Uh, and, and having covered all of this, for example, to add flavor, um, to avoid sodium and, for example, and salad dressings, but instead to use things like herbs and spices. Of course, avoiding butter is another is, is another major uh, important point here. Um, and when you're eating carbohydrates, they should also be low fat, uh, such as low fat breads and, and bagels and whatever. And more importantly, to eat naturally sweet fruits because these will not just give you good carbohydrates but we'll have fiber, which is very good for the digestive system, um, and also uh, be very good at, um, at at stopping cravings. This is something that a lot of bodybuilders have. The, the carbohydrates found within, as well as the vitamins and minerals, are very important when cutting down. Now, how did Tom Platz dial into competition? Here's another great shot of the great Tom Platz, um, looking absolutely phenomenal. Um, shredded to the bone, of course, in the Tom Platt style. Uh, believe it or not, his pre-contest routine for the 1980 Mr. Olympia, it actually was very different to the one that he used in the 80s, um, which I may do a video of that in the future, which was much higher in carbohydrate. But um, in the late 70s and, and the 1980 Mr. Olympia, he favored high protein, moderate fat, and low carbohydrates. He would only have his carbohydrates before working out. Um, and he would obtain his carbohydrates from fruit. He would actually have coffee, which obviously contains caffeine, as a pre-workout. And funny enough, that's what a lot of us do nowadays. It gives you that boost, uh, increased focus, etc. And most fats that he actually ingested were also pre-workout and post-workout with only pure protein uh, consumed at night. Now, let's uh, get to his 1980 Mr. Olympia pre-contest diet. Starting off with this photo, my god, this photo is so famous. <laughs> Let's look at those legs, those legs, those legs, those feathers, those feathers, those striations. It's it's incredible. This this photo is legendary. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just yeah, it, it's iconic. It 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 speaks volumes. Um, Tom Platz was ahead of his time when it came to conditioning. 
since my last photo, uh, last uh, video that I made on on uh, Tom Platt, especially on his uh, chest, everyone was mentioning how wide his jaw was. Look at it here. I mean, talk about jaw gains and cheek gains all the way. <laughs> it's incredible. But let's look at the pre-contest diet. Um, his his breakfast actually consumed of a dozen eggs scrambled, by the way, not raw. Uh, lots of fruit and a cup of coffee, as I mentioned. So there is uh, a lot of fat there, a lot of protein and a, uh, a lot of carbs as well as caffeine. Lunch post-workout would be a pound of meat with salad. His snack between his dinner and his lunch would be a water-packed can of tuna and three eggs, more fat in the eggs there. And finally, dinner before bed would be water-packed tuna again, and that was it, just pure protein. Uh, this was 3,000 calories as opposed to his 6,000 calorie off-season diet. This particular diet pre-contest would give, supply him with uh, 300 grams of protein, 150 grams of fat, and 50 grams of carbs approximately. He only supplemented with uh, vitamin B, C, and vitamin E as listed, as well as choline and inositol uh, for getting, um, I think, to improve your metabolism of fats, as well as supplement with a lot of minerals, especially calcium, magnesium, and potassium. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on Tom Platt's pre-contest diet. Um, in comparison to his off-season state, you can tell here with that um, very large thigh, undefined, versus the absolutely incredible ripped condition, paper thin skin. I mean, this is an anatomy chart if it is not about the leg, Christ almighty. I mean, did it work? Absolutely, of course it worked. The evidence is there, photographic evidence proving that his uh, very basic pre-contest uh, pre diet, you know, it's, it's no frills diet really, um, worked amazingly, gave him amazing, amazing results. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. And uh, leave me a comment. What do you think about his pre-contest diet, this no frills approach? It's amazing what the Golden Era bodybuilders could get away with back in the day. And we all know why. I mean, the food was better and the supplements were also too. Uh, so thank you for watching. And uh, please visit uh, www.goldenera.com muscle.com. This is the Golden Era uh, Bookworm. Bye for now.